Assalamu alaikum, peace, shalom, a good morning to everyone today. As we celebrate this new day in autumn, end of October 2022 in Pakistan, we are reading the Word of God together. We are looking at what God says is eternal word. In a letter written by James or Jacob, Jacob, in other words. And we read it in the English New International Reader's Version. Treat everyone the same, it says. Can we treat everyone the same? What do you think? If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters, you are called by him to treat everyone the same. Look, verse 1. And then he goes on. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a golden ring and fine cloth. And suppose a poor man comes in in worn out cloth also. Would you show special attention to the one who is wearing fine cloth? Would you say, here is a good seat for you? Sit down. Would you say to the poor person, you stand here or sit on the floor by my feet? If you wouldn't, if you would say, aren't you treating some people better than the others? Aren't you like judges who have evil thoughts? The Greeks would never visit the synagogue. The Jews were worshipping in the synagogue in the first century. Look, this is the context. Places of worship. Where everyone was meant to be the same, like today in the church or in the mosque. My dear brothers and sisters, listen to me. Hasn't God chosen those who are poor? It's God's choice, look. In the world's eyes to be rich in faith. Hasn't he chosen them to receive the kingdom? Hasn't he promised to those who love him? God has promised the kingdom to those who love him. What do you think? But you who have put poor people down, aren't rich people taking advantage of you? Aren't they dragging you into court? Aren't they speaking evil things against the worthy name of Jesus? Remember you who belong to him. The royal law is found in scripture. It says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you really keep that law, you are doing what is right. But if you sin, you don't treat everyone the same. The law judges you because you have broken it. Suppose you keep the whole law, but trip over just one part of it, then you are guilty of breaking all of it. God says, do not commit adultery. God says, he also says, do not commit murder. Look, suppose you don't commit adultery, but you com do commit murder, then you have broken the law. So you look what the Bible says. Speak and act like people who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom. It says, look, if you keep one law, you judge the other one for not keeping the other law. You are worse. You are worse off. Look, Those who have not shown mercy will not receive mercy when they are judged. See? So if another one receives mercy for doing something, why are you jealous? Haven't you received mercy? Are your sins forgiven? Do you know God is the one who is merciful and just? And full of grace? Those who have not shown mercy will not receive mercy when they are judged, it says. Look, to show mercy is better than to judge. So it says here, chapter 2, verse 12. It says clearly, that you are speak and act like people who are going to be judged by the Lord. Look, 
To show mercy is better than to judge. So if you are forgiven, you will be merciful towards other people. I tell you. And this is as far as it goes today. May God bless you now and forever.